Sehe bokmani padaseo. What does it mean? If you notice, the word in red letter is padaseo. Because today, on one Korean word a day here at Tehango, we're going to study about the word patta. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Tehango. Word number 311. Patta. Again, it's patta. Again, it's patta. This pronounced as a two-syllable word. The first syllable is pat, second syllable is ta. Pronounce it with me. Patta. Again, our word for today is patta. And this is a verb which means to receive. Again, our word for today is patta. This is a verb which means to receive. How do we write patta in Hangul? This is composed of two syllables. For the first syllable, pat, we need to draw first a B up character followed by an A character followed by a dikut character. Again, that's B up, A, and dikut. And then for the second syllable, da, we need to draw first a dikut character followed by an A character. So that's dikut and A. And then we just need to combine the hangul for each of these two syllables to form the hangul of the word patta. Now, let's look into this example expression. It says, Happy New Year. So this is a common greetings when the New Year comes. So, Happy New Year. The Korean translation of Happy New Year is, Sehe Bokmani Padaseo. Again, it's Sehe Bokmani Padaseo. That translation can be subdivided into four parts. The first one is Sehe, and this is the Korean term for New Year. The second one is pok, which means luck. Next is mani, which, which means lots or many. And then the last one is padaseo, which means please receive. And if we will look back at the last part, which is padaseo, this is actually a word that originated from the verb pata, which is our word for today. And as mentioned a while ago, the verb pata means to receive. And if that word is conjugated to iseo, it becomes paduseo, which then means please receive. So if we combine the meaning of these four parts, it becomes please receive many luck this new year. And in Korea, it's the same as greeting someone a happy new year. So, if you remember, this is flashed a while ago at the beginning of this video. And right now, we already know that the meaning of this is Happy New Year. And with that, you've just learned Patta. Now let's proceed to our previous 10 words recap. As of now, our previous 10 words are words number 301 to 310. But don't forget our word for today. Word number 311, patta. This is a verb which means to receive. The first word for our review is word number 310, it's putakamnida, which means please do me a favor. Next is isangayo, which means strange or weird. Next word is chemi soyo, and this is used to say or describe something as interesting. Or fun. Next word is toktokhada. This is a descriptive verb which means to be smart. Next word is shirohe, which means I hate it. Next word is taikoman, which means sweet. Next word is pionijom, which means convenience store. Next word is shirohada. This is a verb which means to hate. Next word is ujimayo, which means don't cry.
And the last word for our review is word number 301, masisoyo, which means delicious. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time on here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words.